Here is a few things that I've seen that are the biggest threats on American marriages. This is a hot topic that most people don't like talking about, which is the biggest threat to the American marriage. I need men to understand the game of money so that we can alleviate that stress from their family. I am married now, been married for going on a little over two years now. The first thing, money. As you know, the statistics are out. Half of marriages in America are divorced due to sex and money. If I can save one more child from having a broken marriage, then at the end of the day, that's what I'm looking for. And that's not, a, it's not you know, this was probably isn't gonna get a ton of views, but I don't care. This isn't about views. This is me about me trying to stop one more family from getting divorced so that the, the generational curses running into a wall with your family can stop happening. The biggest threat to the American uh, marriage, American families, is money. The second one is sex. I am a product of getting in third grade, getting exposed to pornography. Back then it was magazines and now it's all over Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, the whole, I mean, everywhere. It's everywhere now. And by pornography, I don't mean just naked girls. I mean girls now in thong bikinis or string bikinis and it's everywhere. It's hard as a male, your algorithm knows you're a man, right? Cause you have to, you had to put that you're a male and likely is going to show you women in string bikinis occasionally. Now you can train your algorithm, which I've done um, to not show me pictures like this, but oftentimes people that you follow are gonna post pictures like this. And you have to be very careful because it's not a bad thing. I'm a believer, I'm, I'm a Christian, right? So I believe that God created man and woman to procreate, which means to have sex. I believe that Jesus is bringing sexy back. I'm convinced that money and sex is what is threatening right now the American marriage. So if we got this sex thing down and number one, men did not treat their wives like just to fulfill their desires, which men, you do have desires. And women, if you're watching this too, your man has desires that he needs to be fulfilled. You're not gonna be able to fulfill all of them, which is why I believe Christians need God in their life. God is the only one I believe that can actually fulfill everything. But while you're here, wife, you should tend to the needs of your husband. Be very careful and int intentional about those needs. The conversation about sex is not being brought up enough. There's not a lot of healing that a lot of families have gone through because of infidelity or, you I'll know, even the thought of infidelity. Some guilt -free There's sex. so many families that I know now that live in a sexless marriage. And that is, as, as a young married couple, that disturbs the crap out of me. I didn't get married to my wife because I, all I wanted to do was have sex, but talking about my, my, uh, my sex life on the internet is not uh, necessarily what I, I wanted to do, but obviously this conversation is about what are the threats to the American marriage, and sex is one of those. So that was a struggle that I had from a third grade. You show a third grader pictures of boobs on the internet, dudes in my neighborhood. You know, their dads gave their sons playboys. So when you go to their house, you know, obviously they'd show us the playboys. And we're like, yeah, this is, this is awesome. Which tainted my relationship with women. And not until really 2012 did I really start to say, holy crap, let me pump the brakes here. So roughly 12 years ago, and start to realize that if I did not get a grip on my ability to control my sexual desires, that not only would I probably fail in life, or end up getting all building this massive company and then getting divorced because I can't control my sexual desires, which you read about in all these ancient books about men's sexual desires. It's like, hey, there's all these warning signs, not just from Jesus in the Bible, but literally ancient philosophers, Aristotle all the way to today, Mikey Lucas. Okay, they're all saying that if you don't get a grip on this sexual desire thing, the likelihood of you having a successful marriage is gonna be slim to none. You already have the cards stacked against you. Having a healthy sex marriage is expressing to your wife what you want. If you don't communicate to your wife you know, what you want, there's a likelihood that you're gonna think your wife is not fulfilling that bucket for you in your guys' marriage. If my wife did not pursue me, I noticed me being coached by mentors that I didn't feel desirable. Men, I hope this hits home for you, but if your wife doesn't pursue you for sex, in other words, you're the only one initiating, the likelihood of you feeling appreciated or desirable is very, very, very low. You need to be approached. You need to be pursued with sex rather than you're the one that's always like, hey babe, can we have sex? Hey babe, you're, you know? It's like, 
You don't want to be the one that's always doing it. That is the, the big two. Uh, I would say the third thing not talked about a lot is social media. TV shows as well as social media has over sensationalized sex. And you used to see like beautiful, beautiful women wearing scandalous things, showing things. In due time, I think that, that stuff's fine. In ads and in marketing and in TV shows, it's funny because if you're older and you're listening to this, you're like, oh yeah, you guys are the worst. Well, what about like Baywatch? Where it's like, you know, the chicks running up and down. Like, what, what about that? It's everywhere. So in Vegas, we used to have strip club billboards. I live in Texas now. And it's funny because I tell people, they go, oh, like, how did you live in Vegas? Like, technically, you guys have strip clubs. I know there's a strip club right over here next to the grocery store we go to. Uh, you guys have alcohol everywhere. You guys have drug dealers everywhere. You guys just don't know what they are. And, then, and you guys have, you know, evil stuff going on. You've got shootings, too. You've got gambling, too. It's just under the table. So people act like Vegas was so hard on us. But I was just exposed to um, that type of habits early on, which then made me say, hey, do I want this in my future? And if I do, okay, how much of it do I want? And what is the negative and the positive consequences? So ultimately social media is, is social media and TV shows, I believe, are one of the other uh, key points that are actually threatening the American marriage. I'm not even going to throw, throw politics in there, but I would say politics as well is, would be like a fourth one as a, as a bonus. But social media in the sense that men is a good thing when you see a beautiful woman that you're like, wow, she's beautiful. Why? Because that's God's creation. There's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is, is that most men can't stop at, wow, that's a beautiful creation of God. They go, wow, I want to touch it. I want to kiss it. They want to take that home. That is typically where the man's brain goes. As a believer in Christ, as a Christian, I have to be very, very, very careful about what I see and what I see on social media and what I watch in shows because it's very easy for me to just fall to the left a little bit. Like, wait a second, brother, like you're a, you're a married man. What are you doing? And this is, ironically enough, this is something I was actually struggling with in my head this morning and yesterday. I still struggle with this. But the difference between me and maybe you, I only allow that struggle to go for maybe an hour, maybe two. I'm more aware of the signs. I did not sign up for multiple relationship marriage. I signed up to have one wife and to keep my eyes gazed on one wife. Literally was praying to God today in the gym. And I was like, help me understand how I can love my wife more because I want our relationship to flourish. The key is that I don't let it happen so that I'm stuck in this anaconda and it's got me. The things that, that, are, that are destroying the American marriage is money, is sex, and then is social media and TV shows. You guys have to be very careful about how, again, whatever your alignment is, I don't really care. If you're not a Christian, you're not a Jesus follower, like a crazy person like me. If you're not that, then whatever that means for you. But like, if you don't want your wife cheating on you and that's what your guys' standard is, then shouldn't you hold yourself to the same standard? The main thing here is, is with the money thing, catch it early. With the sex thing, catch it early. You can't manage the things you're not tracking. Get accountability, tell people about it. These are the things that I believe are the biggest threats to the American marriage. If you like this, make sure you subscribe for more. Like, comment, send this to somebody that you think is cool. If you think I'm crazy, just tell me, Mikey, you're crazy. Or if you got something out of it, let me know in the comments as well. Cheers.